Welcome back, 3DMJers, to uh, Brad's Brad Doesn't Know What He's Doing vlog. Um, today I've got uh, uh, some uh, adjustments that I wanted to, to update uh, a few of you on. Um, money's tight. Money's real tight right now. I think it's tight for everybody. The economy is just kind of uh, tanked, you know, for lack of a better term. So I'm not going to be going to uh, any gym uh, anytime soon. So uh, it'll be uh, exclusively here in the, the Billy Funk Memorial Gym and um, everything done, you know, right here in the, the comfort of my, my home. So um, one of the, besides that, of course, being one of the adjustments, um, I've had to lose the, the singles on occasion. I still, if I'm feeling good, um, you know, I'll, I'll go ahead and, and hit the heavy single, but uh, this was not one of those days. So... Today, I just needed to get three good sets of squats in. And I took that set right there to that slow repetition that I kind of indicated in my uh, my vlog uh, a few months ago, outlining my quad training. I like to take that at least one set of the squats to that, that real slow repetition. But uh, after that one set, today on this particular day, like I said, I was feeling pretty puny. I pretty much bagged it and then went to uh, my belt squat. So... Uh, this is my belt squat setup. I use my uh, cable system that I've got on the back of my uh, Billy Funk Memorial cage. Um, and I've got a good um, a good squat belt, you know, uh, dip belt. I think it's called the squid belt. And uh, it works really good. Now, um, these are for high repetitions. I usually get anywhere between 12 and 20. And they do burn. They burn and they do burn the lungs a little bit. And um, I've got pretty much all the weight on my cable that I feel comfortable with. I got about 300 pounds on there. Um, just pretty much just rep it away until I get to that low, that kind of slow repetition, which that one right there looked kind of slow. Um, boy, it was more courageous than I thought. So <laughs> that's, those are getting slower. So. Got the bar out of the way. Here's my second set, basically my last set of squats. Um, so here's kind of a, a little bit of a, a hack for you. Um, I've got a wide blocky waist and I have got really bony hips, uh, bony as is, bony iliac crests. You can see this pair of shorts that I've got right here. There's padding in it. This is um, one of my old football girdles. And so if you've got really bony hip bones like I do, bony iliac crest. I wear a football girdle underneath anything, anytime that I have to wear a weight belt, uh, a dip belt. Um, so yeah, pro tip right there. Uh, if you have really big, blocky, bony pelvis, you get lean and you have trouble with uh, belts digging into you, football girdle for the win. So got my sets done there, three sets total. Um, no single today. And then, like I said, I just kind of made up the difference to get all my squat volume in with a combination of the um, high bar squat and then a belt squat. So keep this same setup. I go right into calves. Um, same same dip belt, same football girdle. Um, super convenient way to get my calf training done. Um, same tempo. You know, I've been talking about this whole time. Slow on the way down, pause, explosive. Slow on the way down, pause, explosive, okay? And um, yeah, yeah, just get my, my, my calves done this way uh, as opposed to holding on to a dumbbell and, and, and doing one leg at a time, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Um, this is a real comfortable way for me to get calf raises in. Um, and so, yeah, this is kind of my, my calf raise of, of choice, I guess you might say. Now, one thing I do a lot of times in this particular workout is uh, superset. So pretty much everything that I, I outlined in the, the first vlog uh, of my leg training, my quad dominant day uh, as it stands, I do here. It's just, I have to do the variation that I can do at home. So I'll superset leg curls, calf raises, leg curls, calf raises, leg curls, calf raises, just kind of working my way just back and forth. Um, with my particular leg curl, it's it's harder to get the, the the slow eccentric, especially from the top to the middle. Now I'll fight it from the middle down, pause, uh, explosive, um, fight it, 
pause at the bottom, uh, getting pretty close to, uh, well, that one's, that was about failure right there. Right. So hop up, collect myself a little bit. Um, Oh, got to write down on the chalkboard what it was that I did. Right. But then just right over to the belt squat and start doing my, um, uh, my calf raises. So yeah, just save time, just back and forth, uh, get it done, adjust the football girdle there, get the padding all set. Uh, start, start with the, the calf raises again. So, um, I will end up this particular day. Uh, this stuff is kind of boring, so we'll just kind of go straight to the end. Nothing really too exciting to pass along to y'all here, but um, I'm going to end with um, my quad isolation. I do supine um, leg extensions. I'll drop down in the um, comment section for you guys uh, a really good um, informative video. Uh, that uh, our good uh, Dr. Nick Licamelli did on training muscles in the lengthened state. And so this is kind of how I prefer uh, to do my leg extensions uh, when I'm doing it at home. So uh, check out that video. Um, that should be, you know, super informative for you guys. Um, something that uh, maybe you can add to your arsenal. But uh, yeah, for this particular day here, Three sets of squats, four sets of these for a total of seven uh, sets for the week. And then on the hamstring dominant day, uh, I'll also do some sort of quad work, whether it's the belt squat, um, leg extensions, basically whatever I can do here in the gym. You get my total of about 12 to 12 to 15 sets for the week. So that's all I've got for you this uh, week, guys. So I uh, hope it was informative for you. hope it helped out and I uh, hope you all had a, a wonderful Thanksgiving. And until next time, take care.